Hey guys, Robbie Richards here. In this quick video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the lead groups feature within Thrive Leads. Now, if you look on my dashboard here, you can see that I've got, an, I've got a bunch of different lead groups set up. Uh, basically, a lead group allows you to create and target uh, opt-in forms to show up in uh, multiple places on your site automatically. Uh, and I just wanna walk you through the feature just to show you exactly how it works. So once again, you can see here I have, for instance, my content promotion ebook, my SEMrush playbook, my link building ebook. These are all um, these are all like opt-in offer assets that I offer on my blog. And if we just look through some of these examples here, for instance, my content promotion ebook. So this is a lead group. So I'll just click the plus sign here, and you can see within this lead group there are eight different form options in here now. And you can see that it gives a very quick snapshot of the amount of impressions, the conversion, con associated conversion rate. And although it says a little less than 2% overall, you can see that um, those results are being skewed by some of the uh, you know, underperforming opt-in form types. But you can see that my light box has 5.45% uh, conversion rate, which is pretty good. And then this holds pretty true, like SEMrush playbook here, once again, 6% opt-in rate, link building ebook, almost 6%. Um, and you can just see within these different lead groups that I'm able to quickly set up multiple different form types and target them to uh, specific posts. Now let me show you exactly what that looks like. So if we want to say, for instance, um, you know, I want to add my Lightbox pop-up to any content on my site that is related to um, content promotion. So what I would do is I would click this gear icon right here, and then it'll bring me into the display settings page. And within this part, you can see that I can target my uh, my content promotion ebook to the front page, blog index, broad categories like that, uh, category types, uh, posts specific post content, so you can see I'm targeting it to five different posts on my blog now, specifically related to content promotion, or even different page and page templates. There's a bunch of different powerful targeting options. So I have uh, these pages selected, so I'll just save that. Now, any, any uh, form type within this lead group that I have activated will show automatically on all those different uh, posts. Now, I want to add the light box, so I'll just come over here. And you can see here this feature. You can set your uh, your forms to display on mobile, or you can turn it off. Uh, sometimes this helps with the user experience. Uh, and then the display status, you can toggle this off, so it'll pause the form so you can make edits without people being able to see that when uh, they come to your site. And then as soon as you're finished editing, you can just uh, press yes, or toggle it back over to yes, and the form will display again. So adding a form, just quickly, I'll show you how that looks. So we click Add. Very, very simple. And we'll just wait for that to load, and then we'll come out. And you can see that um, you know I've got a bunch of different tests I've been running and different forms that I've been trying out. Um, I will go into those in a future video. But for now, let's just say that um, you know we wanted to add a new form. I'll just go Add Form. I'll just say Test for now, just to make it quick. So I'm going to show you how easy this is. And then within here, you you know you get a some metrics around your different form. You can set your trigger. So in here, I can show it uh, on page load, show a certain amount of period after the page loads, um, exit intent, yes. You know, there's a bunch of different ways that we can trigger this form. For now, just leave it display immediately on page load. Display frequency, how often, um, or how much time needs to pass before this same form is showed to the same visitor again. So we'll just leave that on the default seven days for now. And another really cool feature of the form setup is the animations. And you can see here that we can, you know, we can set our forms to um, come in different ways and different animation types. So we'll just leave it at zoom in. And then all I do now to add a form is click the edit design button and it'll bring me through to the form editor page. And within here, I can choose from a full library of pre-built templates or even multi-step forms, uh, which are really, really cool for uh, increasing engagement with your opt-in forms. So let's just say I have an ebook. I'll go, yeah, I want that one. Choose the template, and then it'll bring me into the form editor. And within here, you have access to all of the different page elements and editing formats that um, you have in the Thrive Content Builder plugin as well. Uh, so very, very powerful. You can add, edit, customize any different type of form element uh, you can imagine. But for now, just for uh, time's sake, we'll just click Save. So that's our form. And then, so that's good. We'll just exit out of there. We'll come back, go back to the dashboard now. And my light box now should be 
um, live targeting all of the different pages that we set in the display settings. So I'll come back over to my site and let's just do an incognito quickly so um, the display frequency does not interrupt our test here. Okay, and then you can see instantly that the uh, opt-in form now or the pop-up pop shows on the page, perfect. And then, uh, you know, as people go through any of these different posts on my site that are specifically related to, um, that are specifically related to content promotion, they will see that pop-up display. But since I've got it set to every seven days, since I've already seen it on this page on my site, it's not gonna show again, but we can edit that display setting very easily. So back in here now to the Thrive, uh, Thrive Leads dashboard. So you can see here once again that now my SEMrush playbook, obviously I only wanna target this one to very uh, specific um, content related to the SEMrush tool. So you'll see in here within my display uh, features, or my display settings, sorry, I've only got it targeting SEMrush review post and my expert roundup keyword research tool post, uh, which features SEMrush. So very targeted offer and that obviously helps me get 6% um, conversion rate. And then once again, within these uh, lead groups, you say if I wanna add a, post, uh, a form to the footer of each post, I would just come in here, add a form just like we did with Lightbox, click save, and then uh, the form will show automatically at the footer of any content that I'm targeting with this lead group. So that's a very quick introduction to the lead group feature. Uh, keep reading through the post. There's plenty more actionable video tutorials coming your way. Have a good one.